It can be one of the toughest decisions a woman has to make after having a child. Do I return to work or do I stay home? No matter the choice, turns out working mothers and stay-at-home mothers face the same issues. A new report in the November issue of Working Mother helps shed some light on how moms feel about the past they pick and what employers can do to help working moms. Carol Evans, president of Working Mother Media, is here to talk all about the findings. Carol, good morning to you. Good morning. You know, it's certainly something that we see a lot of working or career-oriented mothers deciding to stay at home. What did this study prove? Well, this study proved that there are choices that we make and sometimes, no matter what choice we make, we feel guilty about it and we feel judged. So we were surprised because we thought that there would be a difference of feeling whether you worked or stayed home. But no, working mothers and stay-at-home mothers both feel guilty about choices that they've made. You, you talk to a lot of women before they have babies and, and they would say, hey, look, you know, I'm gonna come back to work. I'm gonna stay in the game. Then after that child is born, the mindset changes just a little bit. What sometimes. are the factors, sometimes, sometimes. What, are, what are the factors that contribute to that though? Well, you'd be surprised. I mean, because we, what we were surprised about was we interviewed 3,700 moms, both stay at home and working, and we thought there'd be a huge difference in whether they felt guilty about working or staying home. There wasn't. Both of them felt the same level of stress, almost exactly. And what they felt guilty about or judged about was very interesting. Stay-at-home moms felt guilty about not contributing to the family household income, not using their education, and not having a clean house. What did uh, working mothers feel guilty about? Not having a clean house, not being with their kids enough, and not taking care of themselves. So both of them feel guilty about having a clean house. I right. guess there's no clean houses around. Right. <laughs> and you know, like you mentioned, you said you find similarities between moms who work and those who stay at home and the conflict is making that decision. Let's look at a few numbers. Roughly yes. one third of all mothers say they feel guilty about their contribution to the household, whether it's financially or not giving enough of themselves to take care of the household. You just mentioned that. Yes. And nearly half say they are their toughest critics. Why? Yes. They both felt that they're their own toughest critic. And that is not to be expected. We thought it would be that they were felt they were judged by their boss or their mother-in-law, yeah. you know, or right. their neighbor. But no, it's, it's really, it's coming from themselves. And I think this is logical because the, the stress and the, um, you know, the difficulty that they feel is internal. And so that's what's pushing them to feel these issues. You said, it, you said a couple of things. You said this is interesting, this is fascinating. Does yeah. it surprise you oh, at all? Oh, yes. I was very surprised. I was surprised that they were so concerned about clean house. I mean, having a clean house is really not the top priority that we think about, and yet that's what's causing them stress. They're really worried about being great mothers. They're really worried about being great at their jobs, but it's coming out as clean house. And, and the, the survey also uncovered a new group of stay-at-home moms, the career-oriented yes. stay-at-home moms. Yes, many stay-at-home moms think of themselves as career-oriented. They'd, they'd like to be working, they're taking a break, but they still think of themselves as being in the workforce. But let's let's take a look at those numbers. More than half of these mothers say they would rather be working. Yes. The needs of their children and the cost of child care. Is keeping them away. Right they decide to stay home for that very reason. You say employers, uh, they need to actually pay attention to this group. This is yes. an untapped, talented, resourceful group of people right here. Why? And some of these moms are just so well-educated, well-trained. They've got such incredible experience at their back, but they're feeling like there's not enough money in their career. Really, what we need to do is to educate women to think about their jobs as careers, not just as a paycheck. So then they can see the long-term benefit, because when you add up, pension benefits, health care benefits, and salary promotions, it really does make a difference to stay in the workforce if you can. Uh, and that's where that, that complaint that they have that child care is too expensive, they're not making enough money to cover their costs. You know, they really need to think about it long term, not just for these two or three years. So that fits right into this. Working mothers, they were asked, what are the most important benefits to yes. them? All right. Uh, their responses include flexible and predictable work hours and the ability to use their sick leave to take care of their children. That's a big one. Yes. Are the companies listening to this? Well, they, some of them are. I mean, the Working Mother 100 Best Companies all offer flexible work arrangements. And flexibility, no matter what we do on a survey, is the number one thing that working mothers want and that women that would make the difference in them staying in the workforce. They want to flex their day, their week, their year, and their entire career. And many companies are now doing this, but not enough. Because of all companies in the country, less than 50% 
offer flexible work arrangements that the 100 best companies really are so stellar at. Right. And, and this is what moms want. Exactly. And, and you say that it's so important to have a family friendly work environment yes. in a company. And it's not just for women. No, no. But for men as well. Why? Well, because dads are doing much more at home than they used to. They're really taking part of the uh, child care, a real interest, a deep interest in child care. And, and so we need to make sure that this is not just for women. Also, it's important because in order to lift the stigma of taking advantage of work-life benefits, we have to make sure that they're available to dads and men as well. And, you know, the psyche here and what we think about this is absolutely amazing. Surprising, fascinating, it insightful. Is. All of it. Carol Evans, president of Working Mother Media. Carol, thank you so much for dropping thank by this you, morning. Thank you, Carol. So nice to meet you. And for more information, of course, about the Working Mother Report, you can visit their website, workingmother.com.